When the players arrived for the final round of this 2022 Vic Open Championship, it was hot. A baking north wind, 30 to 35 kilometres per hour, greeted the players. It changed the complexity of this course after the first three days were played pretty much with the wind from the opposite direction. Hi, everybody. Warren Smith, Ali Whitaker, and Nico Hearn to take you through the highlights of what was a thrilling final day in both the men's and the women's championship. Hannah Green started the day, Ali, with a five-shot buffer, but it got very tight at stages. It did. Everything happened on the front nine that you weren't thinking it would. I love that. The pressure on Sunday, it, it's a privilege, but it can be pain at times. But Hannah at least lived up to the billing in the second nine. What a champ. And what a battle we saw in the men's event as well with Dimi Papadopoulos and Ben Campbell dueling it out down the stretch. But early on, it was the big hitting Queenslander who was on top. Four birdies in the first eight holes. Aaron Pike had bottled himself to a two-shot lead. He certainly did, but he found trouble on the ninth hole here with the bushes blocking his tee shot way to the right, pitched out to here, hitting his third shot. Just on top of a ridge, he was begging for it to come back, but unfortunately that was the start of his downfall and tumble down the leaderboard. So what are the challenges on the women's side? Whitney Hilliard hit to here at the par three, the seventh, the iconic hole here on the beach course, and rolled that one in for a two, just as Hannah Green bogeyed a two-shot swing early on. Dimi Papadanos found the rough down the right-hand side of the ninth, playing into the breeze. It's been down breeze all week, a vastly different hole today. So was the pin location in the front right bowl. Papadanos using the slope to great effect, and it almost went in for an eagle too. And on the back of the 10th green, this is Sue O oh, putting down the ridge. One of three birdies today. She gave it everything she had, but ended up finishing level par for the day. Dimi Papadados, his birdie putt at 10. That was very nice as well. So what of Ben Campbell? Huge at 11. They were tied for the lead. Hannah Green, her birdie putt at the par three 12th. What a tee shot and putt that was. It certainly was. And Dimi Papadados, his second shot into the 13th, one of the shots of the back nine for him. Landing it short, hitting all the bounces, hitting the one on the right, the one on the left, rolling it up to about six feet short of the hole, which he duly convert for his birdie. It turned into a bit of a duel, didn't it? Between Dimi, between Ben Campbell, both firing at 13. Right at the flag, they were going head to head down the stretch on the back nine on Sunday. Yeah, one of her best coming there at the 14th as well. She rolled that one in for the birdie. No trouble at all. And Hannah Green, after a wayward tee shot on 16, had to pitch across the fairway. She was finding herself in all sorts of trouble there. However, she relay, relied on her short game. And hit a beautiful pitch up the slope, trickling it up to around about three feet. And that was the par of the day for me. That would be an all-world save for a four there. And then this difficult tee shot at 17, the pin on top of the ridge down the middle of the green. She played some big shots at 12 and 14, but that perhaps was the shot of the day. Seriously good. What a save it was on 16. And then birdie, bam, straight after at 17. The title was pretty much hers by that stage. It wasn't over though in the men. Dimi Papadados long through the green for two, had to get up and down. He did to match a closing birdie from Ben Campbell, who was only one shot behind him. And Hannah Green from close range made a closing par to eventually win by six. With a 71 on Sunday, that was all she had to do. Dimi Papadatas fired a six under 66, a fabulous round in such tough conditions and a fabulous victory for both players here in this round four of the Vic Open. The biggest victory, the first victory is always so sweet on home soil. And Hannah Green walked away with her first today. And 
Jimmy Papadanos, Ben Campbell and Matt Griffin all qualifying for the 150th Open Championship to be played at St Andrews on the old course in July this year. So an added bonus for the three players along with uh, finishing in the top three of the Vic Open. That will be a fantastic moment for all three of them. Thank you for watching throughout the week. On behalf of Ali and Nick, I'm Warren Smith. We'll see you next time.